traverse the tombs of Naxxramas. We've climbed every cliff on Black Rock. Now the world cries out for heroes as a new evil rises. There will be danger. There will be doom. There will be ancient temples filled with relics, treasures, and traps. Who will answer the call? We will be explorers lead, and we are in need of explorers. Adventure we seek, cross land and sea, born to come and join us. Oh, yes! Welcome back everyone to the Star Ladder I League. I am Raven and casting with me is Savit. And uh, yeah, we just finished the match of Tice versus Strife Crow. A 3-2 victory for Tice. And again, we see Strife Crow uh, struggle a little bit with his mage deck. Although we have been told that there is a chance, depending on the way the results work out going forward, is that... <laughs> Don't laugh, Savit. No, no, it's just like, I had the opportunity to interview Strife. Okay, Crow let's go after, straight to this. Okay, go. <laughs> after the match, and uh, what Strife Crow had to say was uh, that maybe he should have brought a free speech instead. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, go on. What are you saying? <laughs> so uh, there is a chance that uh, there is a sort of, depending on how the results work out, still a chance that some of these guys can still get in with the lower scores based on a last call sort of uh, additional spot. So uh, we might see Strife go again, and probably good news for him. I do believe that they can alter decks uh, mm -hmm. for, for that. So, you know, he's still got a chance in the tournament and to move on later uh, at a later date. But for now, we have Hoy versus Ambaz coming up. It's going to be a good game. Both these guys are doing pretty well so far. Um, be interesting to see how Amaz's Hunter performs, if it still continues to perform well, as we've been seeing it so far this tournament. Yeah, uh, it's going to be, this is going to be a really cool match. Both of the players are 2 and 1 right now, and uh, the winner, I believe, is, going, is guaranteed to move on in the, in the tournament. Uh, Straight up, so uh, a lot on the line here. I don't know if the second place is enough, if there's, if there's going to be some tiebreakers or how it's going to go exactly. But uh, yeah, both of the players looking for that win. Uh, the only overlapping class here is, is the wall, but Shaman, uh, uh, I mean, Amas is, Amas is playing the, the Malikus Wallach, while Hoya is bringing the Zoo Wallach, so the strategies are still different. Yeah, and if you see those decks actually line up against each other, it's going to be very much reliant on the AoE from the Malagos lock to sort of uh, oh, yeah. bring the Zoo lock down. But we'll see how the matches go. Um, again, I think the uh, the Hunter deck is still pretty favoured versus this lineup overall. I mean, I can yeah. see a must start with Hunter again. This has proven you know, pretty well for him. Uh, he does play Snake Trap, if that's what the what was about. Yes, exactly what it was. Because we have seen it three times, and I had no idea that the snakes in there. So it's just been a, it, it's just been like a, some like I mean, three two games, and it, it has never been pulled out. So I, I'm really surprised that it's in there. So is this deck running bear snake and freezing as one of? Yes, I guess it's going to be one of each in that case. Uh, Hoy might get caught off guard by that because since I've casted all of these games, I, I know for sure that this, the snake trap has not been revealed. So Huai is working with the same information and uh, he, he might have a, a, a nasty surprise uh, yeah. ahead we'll see, of him. And we see from Hoi starting that it's one of the few times redemption can work out pretty well is when you have, a, have it turn one into a mini bar. Obviously, you'd rather not draw it. But he definitely has the right minion to draw it into, and double shred is not too bad as well. Oh, absolutely. And even with the muster to curve out, uh, Hoy's got a really strong opening. We'll see if Amaz can deal with it. Amaz has like the slower portion of his deck in terms of low Theb, a shredder, and a high main. And even the uh, the kill command isn't going to do too much at this moment. <laughs> wow! And there's the redemption. That's not something Amaz wanted to see. So much value from that uh, mini bot right now. That was absolutely perfect for Hoye at this stage of the game. Yeah, and with the redemption going off on the mini bot, it means that he can actually play muster safely. Not that it was ever really not going to be played turn three, but if he didn't kill the mini bot, then it meant that he could put redemption on a one one, which is definitely the best target in the deck, of course, to do that on. But um, Hoy's now just working out what he wants to do. Although I can't see past muster at this point. I think he has to do it, even if there is an unleash the beast. It's only it's only about clear. In that case, it doesn't leave him in too bad of a shape. In case that there is no Unleash the Beast, it, it, he pulls so far ahead. 
Yeah, and even if he does do that, like he has follow-ups of Shredder into Shredder, which is definitely good. And as we d you just spoke about, it looks like there's one freeze trap, one snake, and one bear. So the Shredders, as long as they don't really run into freeze trap, can do pretty well. Yeah, and he is going to go with the master and likely to clear the minions from the board. At least the uh, the two one. And, oh, he's going for face. So why has a game plan for uh, for for a racing in that case and not? Yeah, and I think he's doing the same thing we saw yeah, earlier sure. from Hoy. He knows that the Hunter will probably have to trade because he's behind. So he's making it as awkward as possible, leaving the shield on that mini bot. Yeah. It's really really nice play again. I'm like I I would have been leaning towards just like trading there, but now that I think of think more about this play, it does make more sense and Hoy is showing his experience with this. So. Yeah, and we can see that the first trap does go down from hand, and that is a bear trap. So we'll see how Hoy, you know. It's good. It's definitely difficult to play around one of each, like one of three traps, um, and because they're one of, like, they could just be anything. Because if you draw a trap and have to play it, well, you're still gonna play it, right? I suppose freezing trap is one he's gonna be pretty confident it isn't. Oh, yeah, Blessing, I... Blessing of Kings is really nice. You can just Blessing of Kings to kill the bear. Yeah, that's really solid. Or, or still... you could just play Shredder. Actually, maybe I like Shredder more. Shredder and just trade the minions and his weapon away. I would definitely Kings here. It's so much tempo. That 5-2 is going to be extremely annoying to deal with. It, something like a, a Shredder from Amas would no longer be too good of a play. Yeah, that's, I, that's I, I would, I would like I would instantly Kings, but I can understand playing the Shredder too, because he does have two in his hand, and, and it does offer more options for later on if he has a one Shredder and one Kings. Yeah, and, uh, the, after this turn. and the Shredder kind of plays round Unleash. Um, even though we didn't see it the previous turn, like, uh, it's coming up to turn four. Yeah, I mean, the odd side doesn't have Unleash anyway, so I wouldn't mind Kings. Oops, he is leaning towards it, so we're going to see that Kings. He also, pre with this play, he also preserves three of his, uh, his health, so uh, against the Hunter, that might be meaningful too. Yeah, guarding your health, especially when you know it's in a more aggressive Hunter, it's not just uh, straight up mid-range. Um, it's definitely going to help in that. Ooh, that's pretty nice. The owl yeah, just sure instantly removed the threat of the shredder. I kind of like this, and again, like because we've not seen unleash, uh, you know, Hoy's just going to commit here, which is fine. Didn't get the juggle, which uh, might actually work in his favor, because it means he trades uh, more minions in, which means this unleash that we can see a man now has drawn into is much less powerful. Yeah, that's true. Especially if there was something like a knife juggler from the top, that would have been an amazing combo. Potentially a full clear. Yeah, and this is really awkward, actually. Unleash doesn't clear the 5-2 and the juggler, and Lotheb just dies to the 5-2. Yeah, it's, look, huge. it's looking really bad for Amas right now. He's already down to 15, so he almost needs to kill Command uh, or, well, or Unleash. He, he can Unleash and clear two of the minions, I suppose. Yeah, I guess it's safe to leave the juggler up over the other minions because leaving leaving the five attacker would have been uh, not wow. great. But I mean, that's uh, I don't I don't know about this load. He's going so low here. I so, don't think many things can go wrong for Hoi if he just plays a shredder and goes face. Yeah, I was thinking about is noble sacrifice good enough? But the how far he's ahead, shredder's just great to be honest. You can shred a hero power if he has unleash. It probably doesn't change too much. Yeah, I wouldn't hate the trade either if he trades the five two for the five five. It's a it's a reasonable trade. He still gets a lot of damage in. He has uh, there's juggler, the owl, and the weapon. That's six and two extra juggles, so he could deal eight to his opponent's face while still clearing that yeah. low tip. But it's so tempting to just go face. I don't yeah. know. Let's see how it goes. And I think as well something to note to just go all out face. If juggler unleash did come out. Then that's uh, one way he could come back because the Paladin doesn't really have burst available outside of say True Silver. Um, True Silver, yeah. So that's pretty much it. But it's not like if the Hunter was in this position, you just go face and then hero power him to death. Um, he's now choosing whether to trade. Yeah, I, I don't mind this. I think this is nice because he's preserving the the chance to leave a minion on board and to actually finish the game that way. I find it slightly strange. I think it might have been. Better to just trade five two and then like get the guaranteed chuckles on the face. I'm not sure. It's it's a close call. Because uh, taking taking damage against Hunter like again with, from the weapon, it does put him uh, a little bit to the danger zone. Yep, and he can. Oh, he's actually one mana off the. Uh... Oh no, he did play the freezing trap, right? 
Yeah, he did yeah, play he did. a trap. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I think it was the freezing, yes. Yeah. I actually missed the trap, I didn't see if it was a freezing or if it was yeah, the snakes. Yeah, the, the trap was freezing, the trap was freezing. Yeah, okay, So he, cool. he played really well there, just to keep the, to probably bounce the Shredder, but Hoy, at this point, could even choose just not to attack if he does, doesn't want to. Yep, no need to. Yeah, and Shredder's definitely not going to help. And does he just have to kill Commander Shredder and Doom for Doomsayer? Seems like he's going for it. Let's see if it works out. It's going to be... Oh, and that's going to be a game with the 1-1 one, one attacking first. He still has 7 power on the board with exactly the life total that Amas had remaining. So Amas getting his first loss with this Hunter deck. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that was pretty brutal, to be honest. But when like Hoy drew really well early on, got ahead... Uh, the mini bot redemption was massive, actually. Like that—that that was pretty. Oh cool. yeah, like, absolutely. That, that carried the game pretty hard there, especially because Amaz. One of the ways that Hunter can really deal with Paladin is to juggler unleash turn five, and yeah, like that it. just swings the game pretty hard. But Amaz never got to the point where he could actually do that. Yeah, Amaz took a little bit of a gamble there. He was he was hoping that the secret would have been an avenge instead, and then clearing up the shield and mini bot would have been kind of nice uh, to kind of keep the avenge from going off anytime soon. Being, being potentially even able to trade for the for the turn two, whatever it would be, but uh, didn't work out, and it was redemption, and from that moment on, it was just a hoist game to lose. Yep, so these guys go into the next game, and Maz just slams in his uh, his hunter again, and hoy has gone for his zoo lock with a pretty reasonable opener. Yep. So this is pretty. Oh wow, the the juggler's actually a pretty good draw. Um, I saw two Void Walkers and a Flame in there, which was pretty insane. Wow, what an aggressive start. So, well, the entire hand from Hoi is one drops right now. Yeah, that's definitely going to help get ahead. And again, uh, although Amaz does have the Juggler, he doesn't have Unleash yet. If he draws Unleash again versus uh, Zoo, it's one way you can swing the game back in your favor by doing a big Juggler Unleash turn five. And sometimes, sometimes you even have to hold off for that turn and take a little bit more damage early on, but doesn't actually have that option and this is just snowballing out of control already. Yeah, that's so much damage coming in. A double abusive and void walker. Is there even a way to remove that juggler? I don't think there is. And more importantly, is there a brand in this deck to go brand double abusive? That's what we really <laughs> want to see. <laughs> oh man. These juggles, oh. these are just going to be nuts. Yeah, he can just play all of his one drops now. Yeah, I would so expect That's him. 10 damage plus juggles, 11 damage to face so far. Is it going to be 12? Nope, he's going to kill the Lepinome instead, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. That's, I mean, that's probably pretty good. okay. That's yeah. a good result. Oh, and another one. That was actually perfect juggles, right? Probably, yeah. And just a casual 10 to face on. Well, 11 total. Oh, 12 total to face on turn 3. Definitely not the worst turn in the world. And if a mask... <laughs> oh! Ooh. Well, it might be too late, but that's certainly exactly the card that he was he, he needed to have a chance at this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he has the luxury to wait one turn to do the yeah. knife juggler combo, so he might just have to unleash right here to remove everything except for the flaming. Yeah, the problem as well is Freezing Trap um, would just prop the abusive, which means he could replay the abusive for two damage it would have done anyway. Do yeah. you see the Unleash come down? Let's see how this goes. Yep, so he can... How much can he trade for? Uh, oh, he can actually clear everything. It's yeah. a bad math from my side. I thought there would have been a, one, at least one minion remaining afterwards. So that's that's a nice clear from Amas, but he is low on HP. Yeah, the only good thing is, again, uh, Zulok doesn't really have too much burst. Um, Peddler is a good card, though. Wow, that's a good uh, a good tap for Hoi. Definitely. Oh. Plus Sail Corsair. That's so interesting because, uh, in theory, that could remove uh, an, an Eagle Horn bow. Yeah. So it is something to consider. But Lepernome is, uh, is a little bit more damage. The yeah. Flame is the, is the strongest minion here. It's an interesting decision. I, th I personally would lean to the Lepernome because it's guaranteed damage. Almost, yeah, you know, Owl mm. stops it, Owl clear, but the Lepernome's like a threat and guaranteed two damage at least. But if you pick the Corsair and there's an Eagle Horn bow, you are going to look like a boss. That's true. Does Hoy just want to do the badass play? Um, this is kind of ropey though, because Amaz does have like Juggler, Freezing Trap, Snake Trap. You know, he's definitely got the cards he needs to come back, and even Creeper's really nice. 
Yeah, not too bad. Tamas needs to keep the board clear, and it might be a difficult task. That Dr. Boom eventually, it's still a couple of turns away, but eventually it will hit the board, and those boom pots are oh so scary. Yeah. We're gonna see juggler. Yep, wants to really wants to remove that. But uh, oh, who doesn't hit the jackal? So he's forced to trade in both of their spectral spiders. Nerubian egg. Oh, that's a sticky minion right there. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just like the Lepinome and Nerubian egg here. Yep, not too bad. Because the the Lepinome with Nerubian eggs kind of makes the creeper trade into the Lepinome a little bit scary. Yeah, I suppose I suppose the freezing trap makes that safe though. Uh huh. The the knife juggler could just accidentally juggle the egg too. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, life up first. See if you, oh imp can boss. That might be the best play. Because next turn he can go Nerubian egg into defender Hargus to force Amas into attacking the Nerubian egg if he wants to oh. go face, Wonder which he certainly does. Yeah, that might prove useful later on, or he might just use it here too. But the freezing trap is uh, not too bad. Yeah. There's no nice way normally for Zoo to proc freeze him with a charge minion because the only one they really have is a, a Doom Guard, in which if you do that, then you're more than happy. Right. This might be a bit of a comeback from a Maz. It is possible, but. Yeah, hmm. egg into Argus now is going to be rough because he just passes this turn. This is getting really close because both players are, are low on HP. Amas, if he top decks something like Kill Command, he's, uh, he's very close to just lethaling Hoi. Yeah, and wow, so seven mana means he can play Lothem and Hero Power, and at this point, every Hero Power is important now. The Warlock can't really Hero Power, whereas the Hunter's Hero Power ends the game so much quicker. Yeah, what do you think of uh, like a preemptive uh, Hunter's Mark on the. Or just, okay, he's gonna go for the Hunter's Mark here. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna juggle. See? Oh, it's not oh, the one. Just find the one one. The yeah. kill on the one one one. And the thing is, bouncing the Argus and then trying to replay it won't work as well because Lothab will just blast it. Power overwhelming. It's too off. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it is he... a little bit off. And the problem I'm is sorry. he's dead. He's dead next turn if he doesn't clear something. <laughs> this is crazy. That unleashed the hounds. Oh, it, no, it's lethal because you, you play the Dr. Boom and then you trigger the snake trap and then the charcoals from the snake trap are going to kill the boom bots and go to face for four each. Well, if you say <laughs> it like that, so it's fine. Uh, I guess it could be lethal. Um, one, one in a million lethal, though. Yeah. This is tough. And this is like, I want to see Hoya's reaction. Like, what? When the snake trap goes off. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, it's not killed before three, though. Well, they did not kill because we can see the green borders still, yeah. yeah. How, is it soaking too, though? Well, let's see. Oh, it does. So, uh, so, does that like, change anything? Trying to see if the like, Leopard Gnome Defender trade for the low tap, he might still survive. Uh, how much is that? Three, four, is five, six. Leopard Gnome is going to take two, two of those one ones and then that's going to be. Yeah, it's two off, right? Yeah, he would be too off, but Amas has a lot of draws to end the game here. And that's what not one of them. That's not going to do it. Even if the Jackal lands on either face or the left round, I believe it would still be one off. And it lands on the right target, but on the flip side, even though he's off, like, what can Hoy actually draw to actually finish? That's the problem. I don't know. I don't think anything. He needs 10 damage from hand. And he draws... Defender, but that is not going to be enough. What, could he tap? No, because if he taps, he can still only play Defender and Creeper. So that's almost certainly going to be game. Yeah, Cle it... Clearly, he should have played the boom. <laughs> tap into Rena Jackson. No, that's not a Rena Jackson deck, so... <laughs> yeah, the Dr. Boom play would have done it. Yeah, well, yeah, he should have just... <laughs> Ob so <likely>. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so a big turnaround from Amaz there. That that unleash clearing the board was massive. Like that literally just won the game. Yeah, that uh, that that was huge. 
And the snake trap there, wow, that's just, that's pretty cool, I have to say. I don't know how it stayed hidden for that such a long time. Usually, after three games, you 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 the the knowledge of what the traps are in the deck are out there. But he did win all of those three games and rather quickly, so he didn't get to see all of his uh, cards. Yeah, and now we're gonna see lock on lock action. So we're gonna see Amaz's dragon lock versus Hoy's zoo that we just yeah. saw in the previous game. Uh, Amaz looks like he's got a pretty okay hand. Yeah, not too bad. Hawaii's hand also decent, but he, he wants to have a turn one for, for sure. And uh, only one of these minions can be played on turn two, so likely to throw two of those two drops away, unless he thinks of Dark, Dark Bedler as a three drop, since uh, he can he can play the one mana card after, uh, yeah. after playing the Bedler on center. So I think out of these, do you throw the Juggler if you're going to throw one? Oh, he keeps uh, all of them. Just because like the Juggler... Juggles yeah. aren't probably going to do too much versus Dragon Lock. That looks like he wants to keep everything. But the, the downside of this is that now he, like I, like I mentioned, uh, he doesn't have that one drop that he for sure would have liked to have. Yeah. And Mass chooses to pass. I wouldn't have even minded calling his own peddler there because that challenges anything Hoy plays on his turn. And he also opens up Dark Bomb as well. Yeah. It wouldn't have been that spectacular against the Haunted Creeper, though. But it's decent. It's really good here still because you don't obviously you don't dark bomb that and life tapping probably unnecessary since he already has a lot of good cards missing the AOE but uh, he will have plenty of draws to find that. Yeah, I want to see the blood imp happen here. So um, just because at DreamHack uh, one of the players had this situation, picked blood imp, and it ended up not quite winning him the game, but definitely had an impact. It buffed the um, the peddler by by one, so it was a two three. And then he followed up with Argus later on, and it became like a 3-4 that had to get silenced, and it, then it went wow. back to 2-2 again. So it soaked up so much, like, uh, so much removal. Unfortunately, yeah, so though, Amaz does go for the flame in the more probably standard <laughs> play. Yeah, that did sound really cool, though, but uh, there's always the danger that it just gets juggled or something. Yeah, that is true. That, uh, is it Die Wolf, Die Wolf time, maybe, or do you play the Juggler? The Juggler can't quite juggle everything yet. He could play any of I, I, I could see like some reasoning for any of those two drops right now. Mm, juggler power overwhelming. <laughs> Confirmed could, kill. Could, that could kill, but it's only one in four and like the average result from Ooh. that would be ra rather poor. Chicken pick, obviously. Uh, the light water is not going to do anything. <laughs> the chicken with the power overwhelming. That, that, is, uh, that is a play. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I imagine the Lowly Squire is the pick here. It's the, yeah. the Lowly Squire is the Light Warden, except you can actually, it has potential to do something else. It does. It's not great, but it's the least bad one. It looks so weird for a Dragon Lock to have a very similar board state to Zoo on the same turn. <laughs> Just with that peddler going into the uh, flame, it was pretty big. Uh. Oh, another peddler. Um, so, the second pedal does go down, the choices are going to be... Oh! Blood what? Imp! Come is, on! Is this the Blood Imp time? It could be. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you took the more realistic option of um, Mortal Coil, especially versus Zoo. You have uh, much more chance of getting some uh, use out of that. And as we do see, he pops the Creeper, uses the Coil to clean up more than minions, and goes into his second BGH. Yep. Are we going to see a tempo BGH at some point in this game? Maybe, maybe not. We might. Here's the juggler Diable. Seems kind of good. He, he wants to hit the juggle on one of those one health minions. So probably trading the 2-2 the for that. He was worth his opponent's 2-2 two -two first to increase the chances. Yeah, yeah. it looks like he's going to make that play. Yeah, and let's roll the dice. <laughs> If, if the juggle does not hit one of those minions, the knife juggler is going to get mm. easily traded for. How well has Hoy trained his jugglers? We're about to find out, guys. I think Hoy is pretty good at knife juggling, so... Oh, no! Curse! Never let oh, Savits wow. make a call. Never let Savits. Oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> okay. wow. oh, and he, uh, oh, and he has the dragon for the Twilight Guardian. So this game's slowly creeping away from Hoy. That uh, was huge. That was yeah. a huge turn around there. That was a big moment. The power overwhelming isn't too terrible here. Uh, it's the only way you can really remove the uh, Twilight Guardian, and he can play the egg as well. Yeah, and even uh, even uh, 
like them. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's pretty pretty reasonable turn actually. Just the second you can clear the Twilight Guardian off in one turn is is not a terrible turn at all. Not terrible at all. And he still has the abusive afterwards to yeah. act activate the Nerubian egg, which is nice. Just gonna see how I just take a second to make sure he definitely wants to make this play, but it's a pretty straightforward one. But there this we go. This is more resources being used by Hoy though, and his board is looking pretty abysmal at the moment. Ink, yeah, ink sure. corrupt her face. Well, nah. more well, more realistically, as your Drake. Yeah, it's it sucks a little bit because then you don't no longer have a dragon in your hand, so the corruptor Balakra won't work. But it's still better because using the corruptor Balakra on your opponent's face is almost the same as not using it. Well, chooses to go for the antique heal, but a little bit of a overheal, so to say, and uh, gets a slightly uh, smaller minion on the board than the other two would have offered. Yeah, and he can actually double abusive this egg if he really wants to, but the egg does a really good job in this matchup of defending against uh, the Maligos Warlock's uh, multitude of AoE. Right. But you probably still want to like buff it for the trade. I, I think you have to do it. One was or was two cores already being played. Oh, implosion taps into an implosion. That's a that might be even better. But he, I, yeah, he wants to get the pressure going. If he goes just with the implosion, he's only gonna have the one one. So with this play, it's gonna be a four four two two ones and a one three. So that's that's a lot of power. Yeah, and uh, Maz can clear the board with Hellfire Dart Bond though. So um, again, oh yeah, falling a little bit behind on board state, and Maz is just getting. Progressively more favored as this matchup continues. Absolutely, yes. Amaz has the better late game deck. He is the average value of of a card draw for him is higher than uh, than for Hoye. So this game is slipping away from Hoye right now. Even even a Doctor Boom, which would usually be a big turnaround, would not quite do it because of those big game hunters ready and waiting. Yeah, and when you're playing Zoo and your opponent has more health than you by turn eight, it's definitely when you're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this is definitely rough. Like, Voicaller, um, Defender Vargas would be nice if he had another demon, but he's gone with the safer play of just clearing up that 5 4 in there, holding off on the Defender Vargas so he can play a little bit later and get more value. And Hellfire. Yep, yeah, clears all the one ones. Knocks the Void Caller down to 1 HP. Unfortunately for Amas, he doesn't have the Mortal Coil to finish it off just yet, but. He doesn't oh. need to. That'll work. Uh, kind of. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty okay. Good. Yeah. It's going to get hunted now, but still, pretty good draw. With, with like, some lucky boom bots, maybe he can make miracles happen. But there's another heal bot from Amaz. I mean, this is, you know, the second Hoy is sort of pushing and, and causing some pressure. There's just a second heal bot going to get dropped. And this is, uh, and the, with the combination of the Dr. Boom being removed as well. This is, Amaz is just again securing the board. I mean, what does Hoy do to actually deal with this? Uh, don't take Doom Card into that power overwhelming. Uh, no, that's not a big owl. But there, yeah. <laughs> that is the <laughs> smallest Doom Guard I've ever seen. Yeah, and even that would not have been enough unless the Boom Bot, unless he power overwhelmed the Boom Bot and the Boom Bot went to face or something ridiculous. Like, Hoy needs to get some kind of huge turnaround one way or another. So he can. Hmm. I'm I'm working out whether he can attack then Ar does he attack then Argus or attack Void Terra Argus? I'm not sure. There's a few options with sequencing. So he can like attack face, void terror for a big void terror, then Argus. Um with the flame uh, with the big gang imp gang boss, sorry, that will be summoned mm -hmm. from the void caller. Yeah, there's a few moves, but I don't think any of those lead to his victory, but... Yeah, none of them feel good, that's for sure. Okay... So he plays the imp gang boss here, so he wants to just get the Void Terror as a minion. I think that's a good call, because uh, the Hellfires have both been played already, so there's only the, the, uh, the one Shadow Flame. Is that lethal? Oh... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, four on board is one damage off yeah. from lethal. Or is this? Oh, wait a minute, Malaga Soul Fire. That's also one damage off. Oh wow! So, so surely no. you just like do you do the 
dark bomb abusive play put him to low health and just Malago soul fire because Zoot, unless he top decks Alganis, it's guaranteed lethal, right? Yeah, I think you uh, you set up the lethal for next turn one way or another, probably with the heal, but just to be absolutely safe. So uh, go face probably with. We can even like a uh, dark bomb uh, minion if he wants to. Yeah, I mean I don't even mind at this point because of the heal bot, just abusing yeah. dark bomb, everything to face, make sure no f funny business happens, and he's not that dead to anything. Oh, he's going to trade. This is still fine. There's st so much damage on the board that the uh, that Hoy's going to struggle to. He can maybe survive one more turn with Malganis, but even after that. Yeah, it's just not going to be enough. Oh, low tap. Oh, that might save. No. Actually, no, because he can, he can just... Uh, Soul fire, anyway. Without, no, but uh -huh. if the 2-1 dies, if he gets into the, the abuse, there will be 6 power on the board. Soul fire only deals 4. Well, now, with yeah. that light tap... That's actually game now? That should be game if he goes with the lot. He could go with the Doom God. No, that would also result in his, uh, his loss, because then the Malagos is available, so... Hamas is going to win this one. Yeah, that live tap sealing the deal for Hoy. Definitely an uphill climb for him this game, and Hamas is going to finish it up. Just the early aggression getting shut down, as we said, like because of the peddler as well, mainly, that Hamas's board looked like a zoo board to match Hoy's, <laughs> but then had the late game of the dragon block, so it was pretty scary, actually. Yeah, and that it was also that one knife juggler moment there that went to face instead of clearing one of those minions that allowed for a really nice trade for Hamas. Being able to trade the two one for the for the knife chapter from Hoi. This is a lot of small things, but a lot of things went Amaz's way there. Yeah, so we see Amaz take the game with his dragon lock. Uh, so, you know, a deck we've seen as we mentioned before, uh, coming back into a bit more popularity now as Purple uh, piloted it to to win Dreamhack, uh, and he has his Tempo Mage, which versus Zoo can sort of go either way. I feel, but versus Druid, Amaz is definitely going to feel comfortable. Absolutely. Against the Druid, the deck should be favored, and Mana Worm into Unstable Portal, that's pretty good. Yeah. Those are pretty good cards early on, it's especially with yeah. the coin, right? Yeah, he's, wow. He has Mana Worm, Apprentice, Missiles, and coin. But and the, hand from, the hand from Hoi isn't too bad either. He can Wild Growth here into a Shredder, so that's, that's a great start. Sometimes you want to get the Shade, but we know that the Shade would potentially even die to just uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yep. So Prince is going to get dropped into a uh, ally. This build That's up the board. You're probably looking for a minion you can play now. Oh, but everyone clear. <gasps> or, or he will use the Druid's legendary against him on turn four. Oh my goodness! And no, big game hunter from Hoi just yet. So if that when that Molar likely comes down on turn four, there's no answer to it just yet. I am looking forward to the Skamaz spam in Twitch. Uh, <laughs> this is insane, actually, because as we said, no BGH. This could just be game because of that one unstable portal, and that's the the sort of the plus side to the card. Whereas the downside is sometimes you get angry chicken. I'll we'll see how it works out because it's only a seven toughness minion, so there might be some uh, some other ways to clear it. Maybe co a combination of Wrath and uh, Pilot and Shredder, or just the Pilot, if the Pilot is like a Millhouse Manor Stone, who knows? Yeah. yeah, if the Pilot Shredder drops that one, well, there's two four attack minions that it can drop, right? <laughs> yeah, although well, Doom's here. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, if Hoy can hold off one, one additional turn, he can swipe Wrath in, but it's still not going to feel great. Nope. Uh, so okay, what's the RNG really gonna look like now? One. Okay. Okay. That's not. That's not, that is not that's too good. Yeah. He was really hoping it too. So yeah, that's really good for high. It sure was. It's almost like wasted arcan missiles right there. But I can't blame my for trying. If if he hit two or maybe even three, it would have been quite amazing. And even this way, he gets an extra buff on that uh, mana burn. Yeah, and if you look at Amaz's hand. Normally, the druid drops the big drops as the game continues, but Amaz's hand is insane. <laughs> Obviously, the Milan helps, but yeah. even the rest of it, look at the turns going forward. There's Snap Milan, and uh, Hoy, as ever, stony faced when he's playing. He's very a serious player. He does not really show too many emotions when he plays. Yep. 
Um, there are you, ways you, to you deal, can with. deal with it. Yeah, you just you can just swipe in wrath, right? Yeah, you can also. Yeah, he can swipe. Uh, swipe in wrath would do it. He can also uh, wrath and then trade up his minions in a rate the the Harrison Jones. But I like the the wrath swipe the most for sure. Let's see how he, how he uh, chooses to do this. Yeah, and just to reiterate, if Amaz draws Malone again, it will not be for mana. Because that mm -hmm. would be insane. So Hoy actually dealing that with that really well. Um, let's see how Amaz follows up. He drops a low there, requires Hoy to actually trade both minions in if he wants to deal with it. Wow! What and a card. I think he might trade both minions in. Yeah, probably oh. will it. Oh, oh, Hoy. No. Hoy, you're a god. <laughs> I... Something that's really interesting about Hoi is that he will just decide what something to just right. You know what? I've just played Dad to Boom. I'm just gonna hit him in the face and make him answer me. That's it's an interesting really play. good play. <gasps> Power blast. Because he doesn't. He Hoi doesn't have the draw or anything to threaten lethal with just yet. So it's a bit of a bluff, I would say. It's something he, that Hoi does a lot actually. He, he makes his opponent think he has cards he doesn't. And we saw this quite often in, at DreamHack. He was making what you'd sort of, on the first glance, think are like dodgy plays. But just to force his opponent to play around to something he doesn't actually have. Um, uh, well, here he has to make a decision. Does he want a lore heal to you, kind of play it safe or go I, for the Lord's draw for the inner I, thrower? I think you <laughs> see... I, oh. I think you see where the boombox go first. Right, I mean, that could be a lethal, actually, right? If he yeah. got super lucky with those, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that lucky this time around. So now do you trade the two minions on the left in, straight up, because they trade so well, and then just play the law for either draw or heal? I wouldn't hate it. Let's go you, still have, right. you still have a Dr. Boom and the boombot, most importantly. Oh, he's going to go for the boombot. So he won it. That's interesting. Is he going like... Hmm. That's interesting because I think having the boom bot guaranteed is, is good because you can trade yeah. it in for like extra damage next turn. Yeah, it, it, either that or just like trade the boom bot before uh, like trading the. the yeah, bear. yeah, one or the other, but it was sort of halfway in between there, wasn't it? Well, it's going to work. Oh, well, maybe it's not going to work. I was going to say it's going to work out, but not just yet, no lethal for Huawei. His hand is looking pretty bad right now, but he has a strong board. Nice. Um, hmm. How much do you want to play around Flame Strike? Because he could just slam both minions. Does Amaz even play a Flame Strike? He's playing that uh, more aggressive version, so I'm, not, I'm not, even, not sure. If he plays a Flame Strike, there's definitely just one. I definitely like Charge, though. To kill him. Yeah, the probably. Is Okay, just because my thoughts on that is if you charge, well, if your opponent pings, then there's two mana gone and you still have a lot of power on board. But Hoy yeah. is just going to slam everything and again make Hamaz answer his board or he loses. Looking at this play, I think uh, Hoy might have been watching Hamaz's uh, previous games and uh, like marked it down that there is no flame strike. Because this, this is so. Or would flame strike just be lethal then? Because like flame strike wouldn't even clear everything still. That's true. Because there would be the. Bunch of minions. Uh, those don't really work. And with only three mana, there are not a lot of options here for Maz. Oh my god, all face. <laughs> uh, so Maz's oh. RNG skills actually just didn't quite work that moment, and he does lose the game, and Hoy evens it up. Some really bold plays by Hoy, which is something I've said before. I think he actually specializes in, like, sort of trying to just mess with his opponent a bit more and takes Bluff into a bit more of a, a new level than just pass something like, I'm going to play a secret and yeah, try, he does. try and play around it. He actually makes plays on the ball yeah. to, to Bluff his opponent. I really like that. Usually that type of plays mean that, okay, there's a lethal setup for the next turn, which he didn't have here. But yeah, also, like, even if his opponent chose to not make the trades that he was like was, were offered to him as well, uh, he did have the, the lore to kind of heal to save. I would really like that play. Really heads up play by Hoy, and now he has his Warlock that he struggled with in some previous matches versus Amaz's Tempo. Yeah. Got a pretty pretty okay hand, actually. He has the Void Terror to create some nasty situations a little bit later with that uh, with the combination of the Egg as well. 
Yeah, it should work out. It's a little bit like slow, but once that wave terror does come down, it's going to be so much power. But this is this is what's really interesting because Amas is now looking at the counter spell and that counter spell like Hoi Hoi has no information that it is a counter spell, so so it's kind of scary to play the, the Void Terror here because there's a that chance that you give your opponent a 4-7 as well. Yeah. Uh, what else does he have? I mean, to be fair, Void Walker Tap isn't the worst turn he could have. No, it's not too bad. That's true. He might end up doing that, which kind of like we know that the, the Void Terror would be way better, but uh, yeah. if you're, if you're Hoye, Hoye the, the Void Walker and, just zero. And especially because this is the last, this is who, this will decide who wins, right? And who goes through. Um, so, oh, okay, maybe even Void Walker Creeper. Yeah, you probably play it safe and just play the Void Walker and the Creeper, but the, the Void Terror, it would be like a really ballsy play that would, in the end, like it would. It would be really strong. Yeah. But how do, how, do, how do you make this call? Yeah, so this is now on the flip side where Hoy has to deal with a sort of, not so much a bluff state, but a, a tough choice on multiple options. He's, see what he's going to do. Okay. He's going to test for that mirror entity and now he sees it's not. And this is looking like a strong board for Hoy here. Uh, ooh! Ooh. Oh. So Amaz just went Arcane Missiles 3 for face. Does he believe that now, because he did that, the Arcane Missiles won't hit the edge? I don't know. I, it's it's a bit weird. I'm thinking I might just uh, go with the Shredder. It's so... Uh, yeah, it's too, it's, it's too it's, safe, yeah. right? It's just too, too steady to do. Like, it's a tempo-based matchup, so if he goes with the Missiles, he has to also like, play the Arcane Intellect and can't play another minion, which would be kind of weak. For this matchup, implosion. I mean, we know again that there's count spell up, but implosion looks pretty nice. It does, but there's also that secret up, and uh, and, uh, oh, and he, he knows it's not entity yeah. actually, doesn't he? He knows he it's not entity. Yeah, so so I don't think I don't think he's gonna go for the implosion. Oh, it could it could be a duplicate because there's also a duplicate in Amas's oh. deck. Ah, yeah, but, but he killed a minion, right? He traded, so he knows it's not duplicate. Uh, I think oh, it was Am he... Am Amas was making the trade. So. Oh, he, sorry, he took the uh, the the mana worm to one, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. Yeah. So he, no. it could be even uh, in terms of Hoy's perspective. It could be a duplicate. Yeah. Okay. So he does make the uh, the best play for at uh, the moment, and suddenly this this is pretty scary. It sure is. He needs to find a way to deal with that four seven. He can run the Shredder in and Frostbolt, or he can kill the 4-4 and Frostbolt the 4-7 just to slow it down. But again, as you said, Savitz, this is a tempo match. And just sacrificing minions in without clearing the board or putting anything powerful on your end definitely isn't the uh, isn't the way to move forward. Yeah, the Conidor is so weak here, though, because the, those one ones are already enough to trade for it. So the Frostbolt, oh, maybe even the Missiles, hope to get some lucky Missiles, clear those one ones. Yeah, and, so that, and because Hoy's uh, pretty confident about what those secrets are now, he can play around them as he wishes. There's little surprise factor here. Mm -hmm. the card draw from the loot hoard is actually going to be pretty reasonable to maybe get him in, out of there, out of this tough spot. Oh, those are not good at all. He wanted any form of AOE, Frost Nova, Cone of Gold, Blizzard, or Flame Strike, and just got the mirror image instead. That's horrible. In combination with the Flame Waker, though, it could it can be powerful, but he doesn't have the Flame Waker just yet. Yeah, gonna see. Oh wow, Juggler into the Entity when he has Die Wolf Alpha. <laughs> That's just perfect. Wow. How does he choose to trade? Oh, he can just yeah, juggle, juggle really well as well. Yeah, with the Juggle hitting that, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. He can just throw all the one ones away. Yeah, he's oh, now he's playing around. Oh, he knows he's <laughs> not duplicate. Duplicate, yeah. Oh, my. he's making the right call here, though. Yeah. Duplicate into more expensive medium. Imagine if he duplicated jugglers, then Amas would have had the chance to play double jugglers into the mirror images. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, he knew it wasn't duplicate, though, because he sniped the loot order. 
Oh, right, right. Sorry, yeah, so, sorry. so he knew. That's why I was a bit like, why is he pausing here? Oh, because he I'm sniped confused. the loot yeah. order. Right. Uh, but still, yeah. like, I mean, look at this board for Hoy. Um, he knows that implosion is pretty much dead in his hand because he's now super certain it's counter spell, like 100%. Right, right, right. But, uh, ooh. I mean, the, the impact Sorcerer's Apprentice can have is huge. Wow, this is, a, this is amazing. That I, I, I heard zero mana cards were good. So That's fine. incredible. Like, the Arcane Blast was the perfect pickup here. Amas might be making a comeback here. Yeah, especially with Arcane Intellect to follow up. Yeah, this is so strong. And he can Those... just mirror image, and, and Hoy has no... Well, Zoo has no good way to deal with mirror images. Well, that kind of helps, though, because he knows that it's a counter spell, so he could uh, just power on his thing to to get rid of that counter spell and then go for the implosion. What do you implosion? Do you implosion the apprentice or the mana worm? The mana worm's the obvious kill because it's more of a threat, but the apprentice can do some funky stuff when you're playing against Tempo Mage. There's so many spells played already, I'd probably go for the mana worm as well, like how I is going, but there's also the risk that if it's rolled a two, it would have been very bad because then it might potentially trade for that. Oh! Wow! Three missiles into Doctor Boom. Suddenly, Hamas has, well, those bad missiles, but... The... <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, those are bad missiles. Yeah, suddenly Hamas is, is actually ahead in this game. Yeah, and uh, honestly, the mirror image is crazy. Because suddenly that 4-7 that, that isn't too amazing. The uh, abusive sergeant definitely helps, but the tap actually stops the easy clear with the imp now. Yeah, it didn't look so spectacular when it, when Amas picked it up, but it certainly worked out well. It sounds a reasonable board, and uh, Amaz isn't on anything too great uh, with the Lothab effect on uh, Pact. Yeah, it's a well-timed blow up here. Amaz only with two spells. No minions to play here. Goes for the flame cannon, finishes it off with a boom bot. Whoa, four as well. Man, that's the big deal because uh, there might be some more burn coming up. And Hoy, look at the two miserable abusive surgeons. Oh, now he's one mana off. He only has six mana. Feels what a bad. disaster. Feels it sure bad. does. It does, man. And Hoy's pretty happy that the abusive sergeant buff doesn't uh, stick for the next turn as he buffs what? the. Uh, the boom to 11. Oh, there's a fireball! Wow! How quickly did that game turn around? That was incredible. I thought it, Hoy was, like, it was, he was guaranteed to win it with his uh, Void Terror, but no! That Sorcerer's Apprentice, the, all the discounts that he got from uh, from that one, it was, it was mind blowing. And Amas, really, really well done there. So smart picking up the mirror images. Yeah, really strong awesome play. Series. The, the combination of having Arcane Blast, the Arcane Missiles, the images, and The Apprentice just went crazy. And then yeah. actually like drawing into Boom as well. like All those earlier factors combined with Boom then just finished the game. So crazy. Did, didn't actually yeah. expect it with the start of that game. Hoy seemed to be so far ahead. But again, it just uh, neither. tempo mage things, I guess. The Arcane... The uh, arcane blast pickup from the arcane intellect was uh, was huge because that allowed him to deal with one extra minion on on that that same turn, which was the turnaround turn in some way and uh, some 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 good draws, some uh, good plays and uh, congrats to Amas. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, like Hoy played really well. He um his he was doing some incredible plays and some a lot of mind games which uh, worked out with him mostly, but. Unfortunately for Hoy, Amaz takes the game, and I think that's actually Amaz guaranteed through. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident. Um, so now we'll be going back to the Tice versus uh, Stanudashi game uh, that we saw. It was 1 1, correct? Yeah, 1 1 and uh, Rogue, Rogue Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll be going to that after the break, but for now, just sit tight, guys. We'll be back soon.